my name is Xiaolin Sun. I'm an MA student in digital humanity at Loyola University Chicago. Thanks to the Global Digital Humanities Symposium Committee for offering me this opportunity. Dr. Kathleen Nichols, uh, director of Mayweber Collection, is my project advisor. Today, I will lead to share our poster, Echo of Anticraft, the use of digital uh, technologies in preserving and representing textile from East Asian ethnic minority groups. Here is our original poster. Following, I will introduce each part and lead the tour of the project website. Uh, textile are cultural objects fashioned from organic materials. The, stru the structural composition of historical textile is sensitive to deterioration. Handling and prolonging its light exposure causes inevitable uh, entropic process of degradation. Even in the museum, uh, visitors cannot take a close look at textiles. The East Asian textile projects provide increased public access for up-close exploration and the appreciation of East Asian ethnic minority textile. Currently, based on the conservation uh, concerts, the Mayweber ethnographic study collection is rarely uh, opened. Uh, the collection is curated and managed by uh, Loyola's anthropology department. About 2,500 pieces of objects are collected by Dr. May Weber during her travel and uh, from uh, prim primitive art donors. Uh, this collection was donated in 2013 uh, to build uh, um, for learning, teaching, and research. Um, in in our collection, in this collection, our orange uh, or, original electronic data uh, catalog database is past perfect. Catalogers are non-disciplinary specialist graduate students. Recent year, uh, leading by Dr. Kathleen Nichols, the collection is recataloging those objects using an, uh, anthropological lexicons. However. Objective, uh, objective uh, classification are generated by anthropologists and uh, catalogers, not including cultural voice. Uh, therefore, last summer, I went back to China to conduct field work to verify our documentation. Uh, during about two months, I visited three main cities and several counties. We dated four Chinese contemporary textile uh, practitioner, uh, uh, scholar, and the three textile pra practitioner. Uh, after that, I built this website. Uh, this project consists of an interactive website, which is programmed using HTML and Vue.js, while the database is built in MySQL. This website also demonstrates what I did for exploring my research question, how, te how technical processing of digitization negotiates the materiality of cultural objects. So there, is some, uh, there are some website highlights. Right now, I will lead you to the website. Uh, now, uh, you can say the website is completed. Uh, in the search function, uh, uh, the facilitated searching allows users to narrow search results down and browse the high-resolution images uh, in their entirety, along with images taken using a digital microscope camera. So, for example, you can search by the function, cultural, and technical, like those. And, uh, for example, you can search the head, uh, head cover and you can save one and uh, you can click in, into the uh, into the this and you can see very detailed parts of the images also here is some basic information and uh, from in the microscope viewing uh, limited by the equipment the project team only choose several points to show the textile technicals the microscope uh, view function doesn't cover the whole pieces, 
So when you say the uh, number here, you can click and you can say the very detailed parts, the uh, stitches. Uh, the 3D models offer uh, the uh, or provides the comprehensive experience um, uh, to imagine what those textile looks like when people walk. So you can you can say what it looks like in these pieces. And a map offers a virtualization of text uh, of the project textile geographic distribution. And uh, the last is uh, contextual information. Uh, this is a result of my field work. I hope this can encourage user curiosity to learn more about uh, East Asian minority textile and their culture. So you can say that like, uh, uh, for example, the technicals, uh, you can say different uh, stitches here. And also the pattern, the pattern is here. Okay, the finally, uh, finally, um, East Asian Textile Project is also my capstone project for my MA graduation. Um, only one, only one year have passed since the project was approved, which is much shorter than most digital archive projects. There are many aspects that are not comprehensive enough, so I hope this project will be perfect in the future. Thanks for your listening.